shout outs to this guy, man. He taught me so much about melee. And we had a good time together. Okay, uh, are they going in? Yeah, they're going in. Yep. It's happening. So, Germany against the Netherlands in Let's teams. See. Uh, we actually have two Marth on screen. Uh, and no Fox. Not, not, oh, wow. uh, you don't see that too often in teams. Like, usually it's, it's at least two Foxes. In. <laughs> So it's actually it's nice to see, to be honest. Um, and also we have the Dutch crowd in the front row. You can see them behind Kese and Charon right. going crazy and shouting. They got their boys back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, obviously. It's so cool. There's so many nationalities uh, that came out to yes. Awakening Three. A lot of European uh, so happy. Europeans showed up that were not from Germany. <laughs> Somebody told me like that from France, from Spain, from the Netherlands, there are more people from that single country than there are combined from all uh, German uh, states. Except not, Bavaria not and baden -Württemberg. Exactly, but yes. Bavaria and baden the ones that I are in the south. something like that, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, they, they got to they gotta step up their game. They're, Berlin. They're, they're coming to Awakening game. North Rhine-Westphalia. <laughs> Guys, it's a good and a big, big, big tournament, so come out here. We're gonna bet be even bigger next time. Okay. So it looks like they're it's pretty even. Um, we haven't seen any any huge combos. Uh, they're just trading hits and and slowly withering uh, each other down. And so far, that's that's been extremely even. Although now, oh, now the, the the red team takes a pretty big lead with two quick kills to both sides. Well, red team up. Although now the blue team is rolling them out a little bit, and they actually get the edge guard with the raw F smash. And so Peach uh, is pretty close to dying. If they manage to get rid of Peach, then it's going to be pretty much even. Uh, well, the percentages say otherwise. And so I guess in this matchup, you can go in a little more. Oh, that was unfortunate. Got a little battlefield. So I think in this matchup, when you play Marth, you can go in a little bit more because there aren't the combos aren't that rough. So you can afford to, to take a few risks from time to time. Oh, was that a phantom tip? Another? <laughs> Did I just see two phantom tippers? Am I mad? Maybe it's too late already, man. But yeah, it okay. did look like I, it. I just don't know what's <laughs> happening anymore. Okay. I'm trying to counter. Very interesting move uh, on, uh, on Mars' side. The Technic's been known to use it for <laughs> the counter, the, the Technic counter. Technic counter. Our boy Technic, shout out to this guy. He's making Ru all of this possible. Running the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, together with Team Neutral, like, it's, it's not just all him. Yeah. You can't do an event on the scale of Awakening 3 with just one person. Yeah. There's so many and people are just helping. Now, one Marth is singled out. Although, if he gets the kill on Peach, it's he really all needs to even. Kill Peach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but they're gonna, they're gonna make it hard for him. So, Shalom so now he's he's, he's, Come he's on. pinned down between oh, a, wow. a rock and a hard place. Oh, oh, but watch out! And he's actually that was so smart. Oh my God, he's ca yeah. he can do this. That was Peach is gone. Falconel is out. Atlas against uh, Sharon. It's us. One we won. That and was that actually was so, so smart. He didn't go after the Peach. Even yeah, though yeah. she wasn't high percent on off stage, knowing that edge guarding Peach is basically impossible, um, he just instead uh, put a huge combo on the other Marth. And Atlas trying to edge guard here. <sighs> this is ins intense. It's, it couldn't be. Couldn't be any call. Oh my That's God! It. Atlas pulling it out. Wow. That was so clutch. The Dutchies popping off. Let's go. The down air <laughs> to F smash. Wow, this is it's, it, that was it's super got, close. It's, it, yeah, it's gotten intense really quickly. Yeah. So <laughs> in the, the beginning the, of the match, well, yeah, the first stocks we didn't really feel the hype, no, I guess, because really it was just trading blows. Yeah. But then it got super close.
And we got Wanderer, the camera, the camera kid. <laughs> Wonder the camera kid on oh, stage. Oh, there you see, see him oh, now. Oh yeah, because he's the he's the buff guy. Yeah, he can he's carry got muscle. He can carry the like those <laughs> those, those glide cams are heavy. Let's I, I go, Wonder. <laughs> That's nice. Oh well, he's doing a good job. Yeah, yeah, looking all right. And he's always in for a little joke. <laughs> So p nobody's betting for the for the Dutch guys, even though they just clutched it out. Hmm. Let's go, Fountainel! I'm actually with the Dutchies here. I, I kind of sympathize with them, <laughs> even though the Germans really, uh, yeah. Well, so when I'm happy, <laughs> yeah, it was super close. In any case. So it's just interesting to watch. The glide cam is super fun to watch. And there we go. We're in the game. And people are hyping it up now. Looking all. Okay, let's see. They go to Pokemon. So X kick my mother. The counter. <laughs> trading, trading hits again, right? I mean. Yes. It's, I guess it's just a matchup. There's no, but no that was a good combo, though. Not a single fast faller on screen. So that's just what happens. Blue team trying to edge guard both of the guys at the same time. But Atlas is not letting that happen on the left side. You see, he's edge guarding Chalon. Forever. Like, he, he, just, he just My God. doesn't let him back. Oh, and but now he overextends. He does one too many side Bs. Yep, yep, yep. And he can't make it back. So as we saw in a few earlier matches, the, the counter pick idea, uh, of course, is again uh, the low ceiling of Pokemon Stadium, trying to get rid of Peach uh, earlier than in the last game. Yep. Uh, it's not working out so far. <laughs> but we got the tree transformation going. Yes. Right so there's there. oh yeah, there's also a lot of uh, janky transformations where you can uh, catch uh, catch a character on top of a platform and you can. You can up tilt them, and you can up smash them even, the up smash tipper with oh! a chic. Oh, we got a laser sword! Nice. The Jedi are on stage. <laughs> the Imperial March champ picked up immediately. Oh, oh let's go, Valtanel. Darth Fout. Darthanel? Oh, oh but he just laser sword his own teammates. That was the worst days, and he loses the, the double sword. But let's go. Who gets it? <laughs> oh, wheels. Sheik's got it. But he, she throws it away immediately. Do they? Dual wield. Oh, another throw, but it's still alive. <laughs> oh my God, nobody wants it. What's going on here? Picking it up is a is a liability. Like, there you go. Oh, oh I just. Uh, okay, so I guess Marth just says, oh, the sword I already got, it's way better. I don't need this beam sword. It's true. He's just, let's just keep, beam sword keep is kind of slow, it. right? Uh, yeah. It has a lot of range, but I guess Marth already has that going for him. <laughs> uh, he doesn't need that, Jank. So he says, oh, I got a projectile now. That's nice. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's it. Both Marths just threw it away immediately after they got it. Yeah, they don't, didn't want to hold on to it. No. Even though Marth, uh, Marth's item throw isn't one of the best. It's not or is it? It's not. It's uh, not? So it's, it's always kind of... Uh, when you're a Marth and you actually catch a turnip, it's actually not that great because uh, his throw isn't that great. So if you get if you want to get rid of it, you have to throw it and it's, it's laggy and... You're talking to a Jigglypuff main here <laughs> and I I mean... Well, I don't know that much about Marth either. It's just something I, I heard. Uh, I can just tell you the Jigglypuff throw is ridiculous. Above ridiculous. In, in which, it's in a good way? No, it's okay. just so bad. It just like <laughs> drops it like a half a meter in front oh, of Oh, okay, it's that's, just that's so too sad. Bad. Uh, but his throw is actually really good. Uh, and oh, that was a, that was a another snipe. close one. Yes, this we're looking cool. at uh, <laughs> at another match where they just whittle each other down until it's a super close last stock situation. Yeah, let's go. That's, I want It looks see like that. that's what's gonna happen. Let's see if we have another Marth Ditto in the end, or there's gonna be two v two v one, or how is this one gonna play out? Yes. Peach on high percent, Fountainel trying to hold on to dear life, and uh, he's being ca caught by Sharon. But oh 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 oh! 
2v1, and he's taken a lot of damage, but oh. Ron still has one life uh, left. Like, so I, I'm not left. sure why uh, why Atlas actually didn't throw uh, the Sheik. Uh, because he was occupied with, with having her grabbed, and he couldn't help his teammate out who was getting back out repeatedly by the start. Peach. And a lot of people at high percent right now. Uh, this could swing in a lot of ways, depending on who dies first. Um, Peach dies first. Uh, oh, this is oh, uh, it's even. Uh, but now it really depends on who dies. Yes. Oh my god. It's this smart. Super depends. Atlas it's needs to make it back, and he stays alive. Oh, he saves him. He's like, ring, oh. but he gets hit with a down, down smash, but he's still alive. Oh my god. So red team, where did the 60% on Peach come from? <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh, and Crocodile is on his own. Okay, so now it, it just depends. Like, if he can get rid Look of the Sheik. Look at sheet. this. Oh, but he's got Like, one lucky hit, and it's it's doable. But if he if they play it right, if they stay patient, if they she needs to stay back right now, man. Yeah, she, she totally does. But she's in the front. Oh, that's dangerous. she's open and that's, she's dead. Uh, that's what happened. She's gone. And uh, now it's it's tough. Woo, this you're is up doable. You're up against North on uh, Pokemon. He, you're at pretty high percent. Oh my God, that it's down tilt. It's 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 yeah, it's, that down tilt was clutch. One, one. Oh my God. Sick. These guys are even. So we're gonna sit through another four minutes of hits, hits, hits. I and actually, then it's gonna be I actually don't mind. Uh, <laughs> I don't mind. No, it's 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 been exciting. Wow. Oh my god. And so few people bet on these Dutchies. Yes, they. It's gonna be interesting. We got the wonder cam, guys. So I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so chilling in the background, we see Big and Bato. A nice Red Bull, a fridge, and the nice venue as well. We're in the gym. Venue super so fire. Speak, yeah. They no, 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 is that a gym? Like a hall? Uh, it's. I think it's a gym. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A school gym. Yeah. Um. What was I about to say? Oh yeah, they they install some pretty dope lights. Yeah, yeah. Looks uh, pretty fancy. And we the are in game three. I'm happy we have got such this banger as the last game today, man. Yes, this, this is a good way to go out. Absolutely. And I think the the people who bet on um, <laughs> on the on the, Shalom, yeah. on the Netherland team, oh. they're they're gonna bite their nails. Yeah. The other guys, Both of these guys, right? The oh. other guys are gonna regret their decision, maybe because it looks like it's gonna be down to a coin flip. Uh, yeah. Could and go uh, either way. The, Absolutely. Yes. To use the words of a famous smasher. <laughs> Ken. So Ken was the, the could go either way guy. Ah uh, yeah? Have you ever heard of that story? Oh. Is that so in the documentary? I don't know. Uh, I think it's not in documentary, you know. So there was this one match uh, which Ken commented and he kept saying, it could go either way, man. It could go either way. And uh. it's, you know the Smash community, it immediately became a meme. That's how it works. How that's how we roll. <laughs> the memes! <laughs> Oppa, oppa, ah, oh, ah, that was, that was too far, it was too far away! Ah, oh my god! Going crazy right here! What's going on oh with this case? Jeez! Also, um, note that the, the counter pick is once again back to final destination. Oh yeah, we're back! Uh, because it's it's a good uh, peach stage. So they obviously like it. And that's it for Charon as well. 6-6. Six, six. And okay, so now the the blue team is down a little, but not not nothing, nothing too much. Oh my gosh! Oh wow, big one. Marth is just Shama's swinging. doing this on his own right now. He actually, he's, it was a two v one, but he got so many hits in. Yeah, he just he just kept handling the opponents like someone came his way, and he just oh, beautiful he just dealt with them. Uh, yeah. oh. Actually, uh. Karon um, throwing out a lot of F-Smashes, uh, which you can get away with in teams sometimes. So, I mean, the, the, the risk-reward is not that bad, I guess. If you hit, like, your opponent's dead, and you're going to save yourself the, the trouble of slowly and painfully killing the floaty that it's going to take forever. Like, sometimes you can just nap that juicy quick kill at 70% and make your life so much easier. These guys... These guys' hearts are about like they're racing right now. You can you can see it. They're really really focused. Yeah. They really want to win, and it's 
almost even again. It's losers. Everything's on the line. Loser is out. Oh my god, this is gonna be a 1v1 again. And nice. Back to the stage with the counter. On another tip ref smash, although this time uh, from Atlas. Uh, walling, walling by, by Kavon. Oh, and that was unfortunate. Now they're both off stage. No! And anyway, it's not too bad. Yeah. Okay, stalling. Oh my god, that was close! I was like, sure, I'm was i sure Keze was thinking Sharon is throwing him back. Yeah. Ah, that's so sad, man. Keze and it was, up smash. it was super dangerous. He almost killed his teammate with that charred up smash because he yeah. came flying his way. That's nice. Nice. Levas also in the game right now, <laughs> chanting on Keze. I'm not even sure who the crowd favorite is. I hear a lot of like opposing chants. Yeah. And. Dude, this is this is a nail biter. I'm yeah, happy we've seen this. It's as guy. even as ever. Like it seems the the, the counter pick stage doesn't even make a difference. It's it's get close every match. Doesn't matter which stage they play on. None of them is getting in a a, a, a big string of hits. No. They're just trading and trading and trading. Blow for blow. Oh, <coughs> that was a clutch back air. But Faltonel. And I think he's too far away no, again. No, no, what the hell? Oh, man. I can't believe it. They have to work on that space. My god, yeah. Ah, and Peach tried to save uh, <laughs> Lamarth. And yeah, this is Faltonel. Oh, it's difficult. Like, it's Faltonel. it's not impossible. Like, oh, look at that. Stuff like that happens. And he actually read that roll. That was, he can that have was this. fantastic. He can have this. If he kills this Marth right now, it's almost down to a 1v1 again. He's like... He's, Look at this! He's giving them both that bait! Oh my god, please! Is, oh my... Let's go! Let's go! This is fire. I'm with my boy Fautinel right now. Yeah. And this is it. Okay. Yeah, they got another... Now he need... Okay, so... The, oh! Oh, they actually think uh, that the the two stocks are better than the one the 2v1? Yep, Kaz is not taking the stock. And this okay. is it. Wow. Last stock. Let's go. 59%. The hype, oh, wow. the hype is uh, out of control. Oh my god. I wish I was out there taking photos right now. Uh, <laughs> no, but, man. Uh, I'm watching it. It's also good. It's also good. Commentating, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Only 2%? Oh, god. Oh, okay. oh my Let's god. Keeping it together. Uh, this is going to be very hard yes. to come back for, uh, for Fontanelle. Especially I mean, against uh, the caliber of yeah. that one. I mean, you have this uh, this thing where where uh, it gets really hard for Marth to kill Peach at this point. So, oh, it's, it's possible. Oh, that was clutch. That was clutch. And that does it. That does it. Oh, man. Daltonel and Atlas hugging. That was a... Oh, well, that's that's tough. Like, tough breather team. Like... Uh, you can't really say that that either of those teams didn't deserve it. Awesome teams, guys. Give it up for both of these teams. That was a great show. I, I really enjoyed this. Yeah, man. Okay, so Liver, uh, give me a, a quick sign here. That was the last one, right? Yes. Okay. So. We're done with the uh, doubles. Day one of uh, Awakening 3. Well, we still got PM. No, hey, day one of okay. Awakening 3 is over. <laughs> it's officially <laughs> over. You said the bad word, bro. Oh. No, no, no. So, now you know uh, what's going to happen in the venue, and also there's going to be games and a lot of fun. We have some intense